It looks like mouthwash for robots. I come from France. That will make your teeth disappear. Hello, people of the internet. Today, I'm getting straight back to work on the beetle. And if you missed the last video and you're wondering if I'm talking about an insect that often gets crunched by people because they get grossed out about them, up above is a link to what happens if the bugs are grossed out by you. <laughs> what? <laughs> I have Angel Food Cake here with me again today because he's gonna continue helping out with this massive process of stripping the paint off this car so I can repaint it the correct way. But yeah, if you did not see that last video, uh, we used aircraft paint stripper and stripped all of the paint off this thing. It had like probably four different paint jobs on this car. The paint chips were thicker than vinyl wrap. We got hit up a little bit better that didn't really get treated, so we're gonna knock out those. And then I still have the doors and the rear fenders to do. And maybe, just maybe, if I'm lucky, by the end of this video, I could have this thing either in primer or really close to being ready for primer. My car is like it like a skateboard. Is it gonna stay still? This car's so light, it just wants to roll away. It does. There's a lightness, the wind. Oh, yeah. It, it was literally the wind was blowing it yesterday. It is no joke how hot it is out there today. It's humid because it's monsoon season, so it's not a dry heat anymore. So you can see it's down to the original red oxide right here. This is one other spot I found a little bit of filler, but um, this we didn't have enough of that aircraft paint stripper. So I'm gonna put just some more right here. It's really hard to get these vertical surfaces though because you gotta layer it up like a quarter of an inch thick. And to do that on a, a vertical surface is damn near impossible. Do you hear how loud those cicadas are? Probably pissed off because this stuff stinks. <laughs> it's time to pile on some product. Luckily it takes about 30 seconds to apply this on the door and I can hold my breath for a couple minutes. <laughs> so there you go. Got a nice thick layer on these doors. Angel's door is already starting to flake up real good. We let this stuff sit for about 30 minutes or so. And uh, time to scrape, see what it does. Oh, that looks good. That bubbled nicely. This is now neutralized back indoors because it is hot out there. But check this out. So this door on the driver's side was originally red and then cream underneath the red. This is not the original door to this car. After doing a little investigative research, kind of figure out some of the history of this car and what actually happened to it. So if you look right here, there's two different red oxide coats. There's this original one that's super thin over the bare metal. And then there's this darker one. Well, this darker one is hiding a skim coat of body filler right here. The door was re replaced. And then right here, another skim coat of filler. A little bit deeper. I don't think it's a dent. It's just probably a half to a millimeter thick. However, all of that work had the original body color on top of it. So that must have happened back in the 70s. Maybe it was sideswiped or someone drove against one of those concrete pillars in a gas station. I don't know, it wasn't very major, but it was enough to screw up the paint and some of the sheet metal down the side of the car. So they replaced the door and worked those areas and then repainted it again, the factory body color before having it repainted two more times after that. This is the last step that we have left, is to go ahead and acetone everything. Just, we already neutralized it with water, but as like a second precautionary step, just to make sure the paint stripper isn't still active doing anything. I don't know what kind of paint this was, but this would not come off with the paint stripper. Welcome to two days later. I got some more materials, so now I get some more work done. I need to get this car down to bare metal, and I didn't have the stuff to be able to do it. Now I do. Pay for it. Mm. I got some of these guys right here. These are brittle dick wheels, and they're designed to remove paint without damaging the metal underneath it. And they use it on, on aircraft. So I'm going to do the entire car 
It goes on a die grinder, just like this. Stick these things in my ears. This thing's gonna be loud. Turn on my fan. I'll do a little test spot right here just for you to see. That literally just took seconds to go through, so it should go fairly quickly. I had to switch out to a different grinder because you can see my little brittle dicks are very brittle and they're flying all over off and smacking me in the legs. That's because my grinder spins over 12,000 RPM. This is minimum 12,000 and that disc is recommended for a maximum of 12,000. So this one's very low speed. For 10 minutes worth of work though, that thing is phenomenal. I also discovered this. There's these little holes all along the side of the car because there was like some kind of trim strip from the factory on there that I'm gonna keep it deleted because I don't I'm not about that life. So much for having a face that doesn't resemble an ass. difference in the length of these dicks. This one is like they're mashed dicks and this one that's brand new. No wonder it works so good when it's new. It took like two hours to do that roof. Once it starts wearing in it goes really slow. This would go way quicker if I had Angel Food Cake here today but he's an entrepreneur doing other entrepreneurial things at this current moment. There we go. So sanding that inside, well, it was a mosquito on the lens. Sanding that inside the shop was a stupid idea. I swept up at least three millimeters of body dirt from sanding this thing. But look, it's all bare metal now. Well, except for the trim. Welcome to the following day. This right here, right here, is a air filtration pump with a hooded mask that protects my hair, covers my whole face so I don't have a thing suction cupped to it. That was made possible thanks to my patron supporters. I don't ever mention my Patreon here on YouTube videos because I don't like shoving that down your guys' throats. I also bought a big pack of these filters to go with it. They're the TR6510N since I'm gonna be using it in a paint booth and with chemicals and sanding. But yeah, that thing was like $2,000 with all those filters, it was not cheap. So thank you patrons for making stuff like that possible and supporting this channel. So yesterday I came across something that I did not want to find. And that is right here, just by the windshield wipers. That is heavy pitting. I also have a bunch of little spots on the roof as well that need to be addressed. So you're the expert. I could P.O.R. it, or I recommended I use this stuff right here. It's acid. Os Orthoparops. Phosphoric acid. <laughs> so I just got a technical like, name. I just gotta brush it on there. Or? Yeah. So any of these spots where the rust is like kind of pitted and down in the metal, we don't want to put any kind of like primer or anything over it like that because the rust can kind of spread underneath and then it'll bubble up and then problems and stuff. So if you take a thin coat of that stuff and you brush it over top and you let it kind of do its thing for like a day or two and just sit on there and it just kind of eats away at the rust and it kind of chemically converts it into something that's innate. 
What do you think like happened to that? Cause it's like so hard to see, but you can feel it. This? Yeah. I mean, someone make it go crash. <laughs> but it's like, <laughs> you can't see it, but you can feel little ripples right there. Yeah. It looks like there's some grinder marks and stuff there. So someone might've done a little bit of metal work and then just kind of it's pretty rough. It looks like 36 grit. Do you think we can even metal work that any better or do you think it's too shallow? No, I, you could definitely get that better. It, you, it's hard to see right now because you got all the grinder marks and stuff on there or the bristle disc marks. But that's probably you know, about yay, maybe even bigger. That's why they replaced the and door. There's another one up here too. I gotta keep wearing this crotch critter because my, <laughs> my respirator pack is battery powered so I gotta let it charge. I'm gonna use the brittle dick a little bit more and then I gotta switch over to the whistle biscuit to get the trim. And uh, then it's time to put some acid on. This was a weird sentence. Get some airflow. For areas like this, the best thing I can use is the whistle biscuit. Now that it's all worn down, it's even smaller and it fits in these areas even better. So don't throw out your discs when they get too small. Yeah, that works pretty quickly, actually. Well, not quickly when you have to do a whole car, but. Yep, that'll do. Using a vacuum cleaner Next to the tool, smartest idea ever. There's like almost no dust from doing it. I have to use, uh, this is a wire wheel. I have to use the wire wheel. There's no funny name for this. It's a wire wheel. I'm just really struggling getting this paint out of the seam. So the wire wheel is the best tool of choice for this. Honestly, I feel this should have some seam sealer because that's just a recipe for corrosion, leaving it like that. Oh yeah, that gets it way deeper. That's what he said. It's already almost seven o'clock at night. I have like 10 hours into this today, even though I filmed like maybe three minutes worth of footage. This is crazy time consuming. This stuff needs to sit a minimum of 24 hours before I can spray the car. And I'm gonna try to get this thing in sealer like 36 to 48 hours from now. So I have to do this tonight. I'm gonna give this a good wipe down, just some glass cleaner, just get all the dust off of it before I apply the Floss. I forgot what kind of acid it is. Fosmo. What was that? Schmutt. There you go. Nice and clean and debris free. That area. Whew, that was that was getting pretty bad right there. Good thing I saved it. I don't know why they made this hood white. That was a dumb choice. It's gonna be so dirty so fast. I know they're disposable, but whatever. Oh, it's so nice in this thing. The breeze is like cooler than the ambient air. I don't know how, but it is. It looks like mouthwash for robots that will make your teeth disappear. I'm just gonna brush this stuff on the whole roof, thin coat of it, and let it sit. This stuff's kind of weird. It like dries purpley. Now this is the area that needed this the most, absolutely the most. It's weird because the corrosion here is black. So I'm wondering if this was done before, a long, long time ago. It's a possibility. Make sure I get the whole hood. This one really wasn't that bad. There's just minor, tiny little, tiny, tiny little dimples in it. I figured you had enough time lapses in this video, so. It's done. I coated way more of this than I really needed to. It didn't have that bad of corrosion dimples, but I wanted to go a little above and beyond. 
So I got all of the flat surfaces and anywhere else I saw even the slightest bit of corrosion, I like hit up the surrounding area of that. I didn't have enough time in the day to do the two doors or the two rear fenders since I didn't have anyone available to help out today. So I'm gonna end up having to shoot those of sealer on a different day. So just in case you were wondering, that's why I just, I'll get these taken care of with sealer once the main body of the car that's all bare metal right now is in sealer. This is way above and beyond what I was anticipating doing for a giveaway car. I really hope whoever wins it, it appreciates the work that went into this. And um, I feel, I mean, if it's worth doing, it's worth doing right. Within reason, budget usually limits that, obviously. That and I got less than three months to finish this car up before the giveaway ends, which link to the giveaway down below in the description to get your chance to win Ragnar. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and um, I'll see you at the next video when I get in the booth and put some sealer on it. Bye.